Yo, what is going on guys? Hats here, CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys want to shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description and happy shopping. As well as if you want to buy either of these shoes right here, the Nike Epic React Flyknits or the Nike Epic React Flyknit 2s. This video I wanted to give you guys just a side-by-side -side comparison of the two models. For those that do not know, this is not a performance review. Obviously, you see the sneakers in the backdrop. This is a sneaker channel. I personally love these shoes casually though, and it's one that I was really looking forward to seeing a second version of. So this is a second version. This is what we ended up getting, but is it worth buying? Or are you okay with your old beat up pair that you have uh, from the previous release? Hopefully I'll be able to answer that for you guys in this video, again, from the casual perspective. From a running perspective, there's a dude named Jamie M, I don't know how to say his last name. Even though I don't run, his channel is one that I would want to reference you guys to for those that are wanting those type of videos. But this video, just a overview comparison between the shoe. This video hopefully will be short and sweet because honestly, there is not too much to compare. There's really only a few upgrades to this shoe that are worth even noting, and they're not really upgrades. For the most part, it's just the same shoe that is recycled. And I mentioned this in the past, but I'll mention it again here in this video. Nike did something that most car manufacturers do year over year when they don't have a new body style. Those cars bring you new versions with altered headlights or ground effects that are a little bit different or whatever else it might be. The overall body structure of the car is exactly the same. The engine is exactly the same. A lot of the times that ends up happening on shoes and they reuse the same stuff for three or four, maybe even five years until they change body styles and completely revamp the model. That is what Nike's done with this shoe. Literally, it's the same exact shoe. The outsole is literally the same exact shoe. The improvements that they could have made with the traction, uh, because right here you can see the wear and tear happens here, but that was not fixed on the new version. They left it just as bad here and they just didn't correct that. I will say that even though this does have wear and tear after wearing the shoe a lot, it really doesn't affect anything of the performance and it doesn't rip near as bad as what people would have anticipated and what I thought it was gonna do after you wore it a long period of time. That means that these are much more durable than we originally anticipated, which is fantastic. However, it would be even more durable if they actually would cover that space a little bit more. Something they did with the Odyssey React, they actually covered more space and even the Legend React, which is the, the knockdown version of this shoe, uh, that actually has more traction coverage as well on those shoes. So I think that those ones would probably have better longevity because of that, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. So the bottoms are exactly the same. As you work your way up to the uppers of the shoe, the Flyknit, the actual Flyknit looks pretty much exactly the same too. I mean, literally the Flyknit pattern and everything looks exactly the same. The tongues look exactly the same. Also, there's no revamps here. It's just a regular tongue that has stretchy Flyknit that kind of just forms a tongue, I guess. I don't really love that tongue either for the most part, but it is sort of a, a mock tongue there. And then also on the back, there's a pull tab that says Epic React, as you can see there. So those are all fundamentally the same thing. So literally the entire upper, the entire midsole, the entire outsole, exactly the same. The only thing that they made changes to are little cosmetic differences. One of them being the heel cup on the back of the Epic React. There was some reinforcement here that went up and around up like this. On the new version, it's a little bit more sleek and it comes up and down and it's a hard plastic versus this, which is like kind of like a harder hyperfuse type material. So I like this one actually better just because the look of it is a little bit cleaner, just smaller and the harder plastic and stuff is a nice complement to the hard plastic down around the bottom of this base, which is the stability of the shoe, which actually is pretty much exactly the same on both again. So this part is the same, but this part is different. And then you look at the side of the shoe and they have this Nike swoosh right here. And the first one has a glossy Nike swoosh, kind of rubberized material on the side of the shoe. But the second one has stitching around that matte finish which was really interesting why they added that there. And actually you could see the stitching on the inside of the shoe right here. So wearing these with no socks, I'm pretty sure you could feel that stitching. I mean, I could feel it right here when I touch it. So it just seems like an odd idea to add that in. They had that also on the inside of the shoe. So they added it to both sides. The only other change that I see on these two shoes is a lockdown. On the second version, there's two different sets where the laces go through versus the first one, they're just one. A piece of material that goes down. Same sort of uniform look with the four and the four, but the second version is separated um, as you could see. So as a recap, the only three differences I could see between these shoes, the heel counter construction here, the Nike swoosh is here, and the split here between the lace holes and everything else looks pretty much exactly the same. So why on earth would you spend 150 on this shoe 
when you can get this one for only like $90. I've seen these on sale for like $75 on the lower end. And I'll link some places in the description where you can buy these for at least $90 for good colorways. Black, the blackout colorway is like 90 bucks. Like there's so many dope colorways of this shoe. It's such an amazingly comfortable shoe for that price point, especially why would you spend 150 for this with no revamped like differences? Honestly, this feels like a B grade to this shoe. Like the, the first version is so much better than the second one. There's just no reason why you would have to buy this. So if you had an old beat up pair like I do, this one, I absolutely would not spend 150 like I did for this video. I would not spend 150 on this shoe uh, for the this revamped second version. I would rather go out and spend 80, $100 on the first version because I just feel like it is a better buy, especially if money's tight. You don't get any viable improvements on the second shoe. At the end of the day, my final thoughts, not worth spending the money on the second version. It's a great shoe, don't get me wrong, but considering the price point of $150 versus the sale price of the first version, my money is completely on the first version, totally worth it. If the Epic React 1 was not in the equation at all, and the only thing on the market was the Epic React 2, then I would say definitely get this shoe. But because I know that these are on sale for such good prices, I cannot recommend this shoe to you guys. Uh, stick to this one if you haven't tried it. And if you haven't tried either of these, I definitely recommend this shoe to you guys. I think it is worth trying. It is a little bit snug like in this section for me. Again, I have wider feet, um, so this section is a little bit snug. But I've gotten used to the shoe quite a bit. Wore these uh, to Disney World like the entire trip, and they were just rock solid. Love these shoes. Uh, but anyway, that is my uh, comparison between the first and the second version from a casual perspective. Leave some comments in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree. Leave some comments on other differences that you might have seen between these shoes that I didn't point out that I just couldn't literally see. Uh, but uh, but that is what we have for this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you guys like the content. And if you guys did like the content, if you can, hit the thumbs up. It is much appreciated. Have a great rest of the day, and we will catch you guys for some more sneaker-related videos very soon. Peace, guys.